So I'd like to thank you for being here today. Lord, we come here this morning not to receive man's word. But the word that comes out of your mouth that is alive, that is powerful that can transform us. Lord. So we humble ourselves before you and we receive your servant, your prophet to our midst this morning. Speak to us. In Jesus' name, we pray all these things. Amen. Amen. To stop in the middle of your activity and all of the noise and get silent before God. 
喺我哋每日繁忙工作同埋好多嘅噪音之下咧，我哋需要有時你停一停。And listen to what God has to say to you. 我哋要咧聆聽上帝同我哋講嘅説話。And the second pillar that we talked about was reflecting. 第二條嘅處咧就係呢個嘅反啊反映嘅啊反射嚇。We ask the question, where am I? 啊，究竟我喺邊度咧 ？Where am I going? 我去緊邊度咧 ？What is God saying to me? 啊，神究竟同我講咩説話咧？ And as we contemplate that and begin to listen and tune into the voice of God, we begin to hear God whisper in our ear and say, "This is the way. Walk ye in it." 当我哋咧喺神嘅面前安静默想等候嘅时候，我哋聆听到神嘅声音，神话呢一条就系道路，我哋行在其中。So the two pillars that we're talking about there on the bottom of that graphic there are retreating and reflecting. 啊，第两个两条嘅支柱，第一条咧就系话咧，我哋要退收一下；第二条咧就系咧，我哋要反。But then there's a third pillar. 仲有第三條嘅柱 ，and that's what we're called storying. 呢個咧就係我哋人生嘅故事。How has God been shaping my life from before the foundations of the world? 當神咧未建造呢個世界之前，究竟佢點嚟到製造我哋 ？Now I don't know how many thousands of times I might have read these verses. 啊，我可能讀過呢啲嘅句子咧，差唔多幾千次。But they just went by me. 啊，每次咧都係咧啊啊水過鴨背。I had never really contemplated the fact. God had me in mind before the foundation of the world. 我哋從來冇諗過咧，原來咧神喺建造呢個世界之前咧，佢已經嚟到有心思喺我哋嘅生命裏面。In other words, before He created light and darkness. 啊，喺呢個光同黑暗創造之前。Before He thrust the sun into the skies. 啊，當佢咧未建立呢個大嘅太陽喺呢個嘅宇宙之前。Before He made the world so that it would reproduce vegetation and plant life. 喺所有植物啊，所有嘅創造之前。There was something very special going on in the mind of God. Yeah, you know, in the eyes of the Lord, there was something very special. He had you and me in mind. 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 喺呢個未創造呢個宇宙萬物之前，神咧已經嚟到知道你。And I keep wanting to find out what it was that God might have had in mind. 我成日想諗下究竟神咧點樣嚟到認識我哋。So that as I discover it, I can live into it. 當我能夠明白呢一點嘅時候，我哋先至能夠真真正正活出嚟。And that's not something unique to me. It's also true of you. 呢個咧唔單止對我嚟講係，對你都係一樣。But then the fourth pillar is that of journeying. 第四條嘅支柱咧就係咧，我哋同一條行一條嘅旅程。This event of salvation begins a journey of learning to walk with God. 救恩咧系我哋行呢一条旅程嘅一个嘅起点。And that is not just a journey that is a casual journey. 呢个咧唔系随随便便嘅。But it's an intentional journey. 呢个咧系好特意嘅。Where we walk into the heart of God with intimacy and learn His holiness. 当我哋咧进入神嘅心嘅里边，我哋同佢嚟到同行嘅时候。As Moses says in Leviticus over and over, I am holy, therefore be ye holy. 好似摩西咧喺尼未記咁講，佢話咧，因為我係聖潔嘅，所以你都要聖潔。Then we spent the rest of the evening talking about the importance of Sabbath rest. 啊，我哋講到話，我哋嘅需要咧嚟到安息。And we learned that this is something that is revealed to us. 呢一樣咧係向我哋嚟到啟示出嚟。In other words, a book might help to read, but it's not going to tell you everything you need to know about Sabbath. 一本書咧可以幫助你啊，但明白但唔能夠真係幫助你。It is something that the Spirit of God has to begin to work deeply in your heart and reveal to you that there's something out there called Sabbath rest. 呢個咧係要聖靈嘅啟示話俾我哋知道，原來我哋需要進入神嘅安息嘅裏面。And in Matthew chapter 11, God says two times, "This is revealed to you as little children." 馬太第十一章講到話咧，兩次講到話咧，佢係神啟示俾我哋知道。And a lot of people never get it. What do you mean? Let me explain. They work all their life from a dangerous tiredness. A mugger now is in a jail. And suddenly, we need gun pay to kill them. And they make poor decisions. Ah, do all those things you could think because they're operating from a context of tiredness and fatigue. Ah, we are there to have gun pay to kill them somewhat. And God says, "I want to reveal to you. I want to give you as a gift this matter of Sabbath rest." So now, let me tell you, I'm going to send you a letter. I'm going to send you a letter. Now we want to quickly move through the other seven. I want to go to another type, and I call these stops. I give you a guy, okay, time or 
reflection movements of God. And this is the place that God begins to drill into our hearts deeply what He wants us to learn in our walk with Him. And in that, we begin to learn more fully what it is that God has created us to be. So the second stop is that of listening. Listening is one of those rhythms that if we don't learn, we're always talking and trying to get other people to listen to us. All the way through the Bible, you find that men and women who walked with God were listeners. They were listening to the Spirit of God. They expected God to intervene and break into their life. But they were also learning to listen to one another. Someone said, Christians at their best are good listeners. And the Christian church, when most faithful, is a listening community. So what does John say in Revelation chapter 2 and 3 at the conclusion to all seven churches? He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Now he wasn't talking about a physical ear. He was, he was talking about listening in a deep spirit of what the Spirit of God knows with the inner ear of the Spirit. And that was what they needed to learn. And if they didn't learn that, the church was going to collapse. It was built on sand. And God is reminding them through the Apostle John that they are to learn to listen with that spiritual ear to what God is saying to them. Now this is more difficult than it sounds. Listening without comment is very hard. Even when we're listening to God, we want to comment and tell Him what we want Him to do. And that may be appropriate at times to, ask, to come into his presence and to act and to ask boldly. The Bible tells us to do that. But could it be that God has something greater than what we had in mind? And that what he wants to give us is far beyond what we ever thought of. In fact, there's a verse about that. I have not seen, ear has not heard, what God has prepared for those who love him. He says that he wants to do something for us that is beyond our wildest imagination. In other words, you can't imagine it because it's so beyond your human understanding. So God is saying that if we will learn to listen carefully and with the Spirit, we will begin to understand some things that we never thought about. Now that means that we need to change our lifestyle. Because our lifestyle, you see, is one of building noise around. But the listening lifestyle is one of listening to the whispers of God. And that is what God wants to teach us. And it's that second stop on the pathway. But then there's also the third stop, which is that of prayer. It is well known that Martin Luther prayed four hours a day. He said on one occasion, I have so much to do today that I need to spend five hours in prayer. Now, what was he doing during that time? 
Was he just asking God for five, four, five hours a day for what he wanted him to do? No, there was a spiritual conversation that was going on. There was a praying life that he was cultivating. This prayer that he's talking about in scripture has three components to it. If you picture a triangle, there's God at the top. There's the inner witness of the Spirit over here on the other quadrant. But on the other quadrant, there's others. And these are people that are all we're learning to coordinate and hear what God is saying to us. And we're sitting in silence again, sitting with God for other people. And for the battleground that we are engaged in. Now here's something that I think we know, but oftentimes it's difficult to really get a hold of in our inner spirit. You and I are in a battleground for the souls of men. So we do not understand prayer totally. Yes, we do understand it some of it in some of its superficial sense until we begin to engage in the battle for the souls of men. But it's also an intimacy with God. As God begins to witness to our spirit, that we are moving in the right direction. And as we move in the right direction, there is something of a deep conviction that begins to grow within our inner spirit that we say, yes, 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 God and I are working together. So prayer is something that we be silent before God. It is also something that we speak to God. But it is also something that we learn to listen to others. And then we find that next step, which is a biblical worldview. As, as you know, we spent a whole retreat on each of these. So I'm giving you a 30,000 foot view. So that we can begin to kind of see the big picture. But that is oftentimes the way we read scripture. That's oftentimes the way we read scripture. Scripture is not a chapter and verse revelation alone. It is a holistic revelation from Genesis to the book of Revelation. We can't always break it up into segments without relating each part to the whole. This is how God thinks. It is the revelation of God that Jesus Christ is Lord. And so we want to learn to think from Genesis to Revelation in the big drama of God in Scripture. Now what does that look like? This drama of Scripture, this drama of redemption. Well, different Bible scholars have divided it up into six acts. In other words, if you went to a movie, you would have six different parts to the movie. And you would begin to see this, how it fits into a big picture. God's grand story. And how he wants to fit our story into that grand story. And when we learn to do this, something dynamic and supernatural begins to happen. So act one, God establishes his kingdom in creation. 
佢咧就係咧喺呢個嘅創造嘅裏面建立佢嘅國度。And there are patterns there in creation that if we don't get a hold of, we miss some of the great truths in that first chapter of Genesis of how who God is and how He works. 啊，如果我哋唔明白咧創世記第一章嘅時候，我哋唔明白究竟神係點樣樣嘅神。So imagine the wonderful gift of creation that God has given to us. 啊，我哋咧首先要多謝神咧，俾我哋呢個創造嘅一個禮物。The beauty of it. 啊，嗰啲嘅啊美麗嘅嘢。The color of it. 啊，嗰啲嘅顏色。The texture of it. 啊，嗰啲嘅啊啊組織。The more the variety of it, the diversity. 啊，佢個種類嘅繁多。And this is all God's gift of grace to us to enjoy. This one, it is God giving us the gift to enjoy. I think of, uh, you know, I live in New England. I live in the uh, uh, Dumont area. We have had a very brutal winter. Uh, our winter is very cold. And so when I come out here and I feel your sunshine, it's a very different kind of beauty. When we come to Kazhou, we feel the sun. Kazhou, we feel the sun. Ah, I mean, we have had snow till you can't, like you can't believe. When I left New England last Wednesday or Thursday, whenever it was, there was still three, four inches of snow on the ground. Ah, when I left New England last Wednesday or Thursday, whenever it was, there was still three, four inches of snow on the ground. And at the corners, there was eight, ten feet stacked high. Ah, in the corners, there was eight, ten feet stacked high. Now, the variety of that and the beauty of that is wonderful. Ah, this world is really wonderful. Ah, this world is really wonderful. God, you see, has given us this wonderful creation of grace. To enjoy and to say, you know, that's wonderful. Go to the Grand Canyon. It's hard to be an atheist there. Ah, 好似咧，神咧呢个创造几美丽。当我哋去到大峡谷嘅时候，我哋唔能够再成为一个无神论者。And in the fall of the year in New England, when we have all these great diversity of colors, it's still hard to be an atheist. Ah, 当秋天嘅时候咧，当我哋见到落嘅咁多颜色嘅时候，我哋唔能够成为一个无神论者。Because the color of God's grace and love for us just shouts at us. 啊，呢個咧神嘅美麗，神嘅恩典啊，即係不斷嘅向我哋嚟説話。So God establishes His kingdom. 神建立佢嘅國度。But then there was rebellion in the kingdom, which was Act Two. 第二幕就係人嘅反叛。And the fall occurred. 呢個就係人嘅墮落。And we don't pay enough attention to this. 啊，我哋有時咧唔係好留意呢樣嘢。Because this messed everything up. 呢樣嘢咧就毀壞曬一切嘢。And so therefore, when you sit down with the committee meeting. Be it secular or Christian, there is something happening behind the scenes that was affected by the fall of man. Ah, this one is that because of man's sin, the fall of man has been affected. But then there's Act Three. Ah, there are the third act. The king chooses Israel. Ah, God chooses Israel. Ah, God chooses Israel. And redemption is initiated through a nation. Ah, this one is that redemption is initiated through a nation. Ah, this one is that redemption is And God begins to shape people in very special ways as He begins to help us to understand what He is doing and how He is pursuing us. So then, just as you leave the country, you will be able to make many of God's sufficient things. And so, all the way through much of the rest of the Bible, you see that pursuing God, shaping a people for His name's sake and for His glory. When I find all the things that I sing in the midst of this, I'm not even a mo joni of the country, no, I look out for it. And then Act Four, they say more, is the coming of the King. In those first chapters of the New Testament, you find the coming of the king in a baby. And Mary sings about this, that this shall be a blessing to all the nations of the world. And the poor will be raised up, and the prideful will be cast down. And so we begin to get a taste of what God wants to do in the world. In the coming of the king. But then there's Act 5. The spreading of the news of the king. Which is the mission of the church. You see, we're not just called to gather, we're called to do that. But we're called to engage in mission. And so you find much of the rest of the New Testament reminding us that we are engaged in this mission of spreading the message of the King. So you know, they tell us that the New Testament is talking about the people who are doing this mission of spreading the message. But then there's Acts six, the last chapter, the fourth chapter. It's the return of the King. This is the return of the King. Now, when I say that, was there something that went up your spine? Now, when I say that, was there something that went up your spine? Now, when I say that, was there something that went up your spine? Did you feel a tingle? Ah, did you feel a tingle? In other words, we're not going to be here for the rest of our life. 
specifically and uniquely created me. 啊，当我哋喺神嘅里面嘅时候，我哋更加开始明白神点样嚟到创造我哋，嚟到认识我哋。John Calvin says in the opening of his Calvin of his Institutes. 啊 ，John Calvin 咧喺佢啊，佢嘅啊，咁样讲。Knowing God and knowing myself, my true self, means knowing God. 啊，認識神啊，就等於我哋首先要認識我哋自己。And he goes on and enlarges upon that, saying that the more you know of God, the more you will know who you are. 啊，當我哋更加認識神嘅時候，我哋就更加認識我哋自己。But so often times we just soldier on. 啊，好多時候咧，我哋咧就一路咁樣去行呢條嘅旅程。Not paying attention to how God has ordained us for certain kinds of works and certain kinds of being. 我哋唔知道咧，神咧已經命定我哋咧係做一啲嘅嘢。And he wants to make that very clear to us as to Who we can become? Ah, he wants us to know how we can become who we can be. But then there's that other stop that we need to stop at discernment. Another one is the discernment. Cruciformed, in other words, cross-shaped through spiritual discernment. Ah, this one is like the Bible. There are two sides. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleases to God. This is your act of worship. Romans chapter twelve, verse one and two, and Romans chapter twelve, verse one and two. So, brothers, I urge you, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleases to God. This is your act of worship. Romans chapter twelve, verse one and two, and Romans chapter twelve, verse one and two. So, brothers, I urge you, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleases to God. Because you see, worship is declaring that there is only one God, which you've sung about in so many of the songs you sing. Ah, 敬拜其实就系咧高举宣告唯一一个嘅神。There's no one like him. 冇一个人能够好似佢咁样。But the tendency of Israel, as you begin to think of this grand theme, was to go to idolatry, that which they could see, that which they could feel, that which they could touch. 啊！佢哋啊，以色列人咧進入呢一個嘅偶像崇拜，就係嗰啲嘢能夠睇見、摸到啊、睇到嘅嘢。When we worship God， 當我哋敬拜神嘅時候 ，we are offering ourselves to say， Oh God， speak to me， let me hear who you are， and let me have that spiritual discernment that is more than simply decision making。啊！當我哋敬拜嘅時候，就係我哋打開我哋嘅心，讓神同我哋講説話，話俾我哋知道究竟佢係點樣嘅位嘅神。Verse two, he says, "Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will." 第二节咁样讲，佢话咧唔好效法呢个世界，要心意更新而变化，叫你哋察验何为神善良纯全可喜悦嘅旨意。Now discernment is not just Christian decision making. 啊，分辨能力唔系就系一个嘅决定嘅能力。Discernment is drilling down into the heart of God and into yours and my uniqueness. Ah, 呢个咧就系神咧特别咧俾我哋嘅 And those become aligned so that they're one. Those become aligned so that they are one. Ah, 系同神咧嚟到联合一齐 It's like the Trinity: Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 好似圣父、圣子、圣灵同样 The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit work together in some kind of unity that is in total agreement. 啊、uh, ，好似咧聖父、聖子、聖靈咧係合一嘅，係係一個。And we are baptized into that Trinity。我哋咧其實咧係受浸進入呢一個嘅啊聖父、聖子、聖靈嘅裏邊。Now think of that。啊，思想啊。In Matthew chapter chapter twenty eight, in the, in, the, in the Great Commission, we are baptized into the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit。所以咧，馬太福音第廿八章嘅話咧，我哋被受洗係進入聖父、聖子、聖靈嘅裏邊。We're not the fourth person of the Trinity。啊、我哋唔係咧呢個三位一體嘅第四位。But we are baptized and submerged into that relationship of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit。我哋受浸係進入呢一個嘅三位一體嘅裏面，融為一體。Where we begin to understand the things of God like we've never understood them before。我哋開始能夠明白咧神的上帝嘅事情。Your vision is not primary。啊，你嘅視覺唔係第一嘅。But spiritual discernment is. Ah, the ling lui bing yi de dong cha ling de ke sa sa zui zhong yong. And oftentimes we have visions of grandeur. Ah, 有时咧我哋睇到啲好好劲嘅嘢 And we don't understand what the Trinity is doing and how that we are need to be aligned with that and understand what the Spirit is discerning. Ah, 有时咧我哋唔好明白咧究竟圣
性、悟性、知性里高一个做过点咩嘢 ？True spiritual discernment means we come out on the other side with a deep sense of who God is and who His character and nature revealed in our life and what He's called us to look like. 我呢個神靈洞察咧，就喺我哋生命嘅裏面咧，我哋我察覺得到神嘅性情，佢嘅品格究竟係點樣樣 ？I wish we had more time to spend on this. 啊，我希望咧，其實我有更多嘅時間可以講。But I hope you will begin to explore it. 啊，你開始咧可以探索一下。And begin to understand something that is going on that that we're missing today in the Church of Jesus Christ. 啊，我哋能夠明白咧，原來咧今日普世嘅教會咧，其實咧我哋啊缺少咗嘅嘢。Because you see, God wants to help us not just make decisions. Ah, 神咧唔系净系叫我哋能够咧啊做决策 ，good decisions. 唔系话咧做好嘅决策 ，but we are called upon to make spiritual decisions that come out of the trinitarian relationship with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. 神想我哋做决策咧，就系好似圣父、圣子、圣灵咁样，三位一体嘅里面，我哋去做呢个决策。And then the other stop is honoring the body. 啊、uh, ，另外一站咧就係咧，我哋尊重我哋自己嘅身體。God has given us a body. 啊，神俾我哋一個身體。In Genesis chapter one, He created man and woman. 喺創世記佢話咧，佢創造咗男，創造咗女。Male and female. 啊，男同埋女。And these bodies are to be given back to God. 啊，呢啲嘅身體咧係屬於神。First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen, seventeen. 啊，哥林多前書第三章咁樣講 ，You realize, don't you, that you are the temple of God, and God Himself is present in you. 啊，你豈不知道咧？你身體就係聖靈嘅面膜。As I was contemplating the words of the songs, the worship songs that you were singing this morning and last night. 啊，當我咧喺度默想咧，你哋所唱尋晚同埋今日嘅詩歌嘅時候 ，Over and over, this thought came through: God is in you. 啊，神啊，同我講嘅話，神咧就喺你哋嘅裏面。This body is the receptacle or the place that the Spirit of God dwells. 啊，呢一個咧就係神嘅靈咧，所有居住內住嘅地方。And how do you treat a temple? 我哋點樣對待呢個身體咧 ？Because it's the residence of the Spirit of God. 啊，呢一個咧係神嘅靈嘅居所。The verse goes on to say, no one will get by with vandalizing God's temple. 啊，我啊，我覺得能夠咧就毀壞上帝嘅身體。You can be sure of that. 啊，你要知道呢樣嘢。God's temple is sacred, and you remember you are the temple. 你要知道咧，神嘅靈呢個嘅軀體係一個聖潔嘅。So, what is it about your body that is a temple of God that should be beautiful? 啊，你係因為係上帝嘅居所嘅緣故咧，呢樣嘢係美麗嘅。Because God has taken up residence in that body, the temple. 因為咧，神就內住喺你哋嘅裏面。The last stop that we're talking about on this pathway is intentionality. 啊，最後一個嘅站就係咧呢一個嘅啊，有目標嘅生活。Now there are a lot of people that get off the train here. 啊，好多人咧就啊啊跳車啦。They say, well, you know, I can understand some of the other kind of things that you're talking about, and the pathway that I'm on, that in places is narrow and in places is wide, and it goes uphill and it goes downhill. It's somewhat of a torturous pathway. 啊！我見到咧呢一條嘅啊旅程咧都唔係容易嘅，又彎彎曲曲，又好狹窄咁樣樣。So what happens? We begin to pay attention to our story. 當我哋咧開始明白我哋嘅故事嘅時候 ，and as we pay attention to our story and learn to interpret in the community of God's people, we begin to understand how we are to live. 啊！我哋喺個團體嘅裏邊，我哋開始明白呢個故事同埋點樣去生活。Psalm 37 illustrates this for us beautifully. He says, "Find your delight in the Lord; then He will give you everything your heart really wants." In other words, the desires of your heart. Ah, he says, "You must find your delight in the Lord; then He will give you everything your heart really wants." Now, when we were in a retreat setting, I, I asked people to give me three desires that God has put within their heart. Ah, in a retreat setting, I asked people to give me three desires that God has put within their heart. Ah, in a retreat setting, I asked people to give me three desires that God has put within their heart. Ah, in a retreat setting, I asked Uh, 你知唔知我常常攞到啲咩咧 ？Blank stares， 完全唔知想點 ，because they cannot define their desires。因為佢都唔知道自己想點。And yet God says, I will give you the desires of your heart。神話咧，我要照住你心裏面所求嘅嚟到賜過俾你。I've had people say to me, Well, my desires may be evil。啊，我呢個渴求其實好邪惡嘅喎。Don't worry about it. God will clean them up。啊，你即管求啦，神咧會潔淨你。
Just give them to God. Because he wants to bring you pleasure in the desires of your heart. He wants to fulfill something that is the deepest longing of your heart. But we have to pursue it. Now, I need to tell you a very personal story here. I debated last night before I went to bed, and I debated again this morning and spent time in prayer asking God, should I tell this story? When I was 24 years old and my wife was 22, a special guest came. Uh, because we had a little baby that came into the world. And before long, we realized that there was something wrong. Uh, she began to engage in projectile vomiting, which was vomiting clear across the room. She became dehydrated. She was in the hospital for numbers of days and they tried to help her and figure out what's wrong. This began a three year journey where we almost lived in university hospitals in a Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Finally, one day, uh, after she'd been in the hospital for maybe two weeks, uh, an Indian doctor came out. He could not speak English. The only thing he could say was he pointed to an electrocephalogram. What's that? An electroencephalogram. And he pointed to that electroencephalogram. And he said nothing. Now, it didn't take a very smart person to figure out what he was saying. He was saying to us that there was no brain and that there was no help. I was devastated. I thought that my pastoral career was over. And I thought that everything had come to a screeching halt. I didn't know what to do. But as I remember, we drove back from university hospitals back to our small apartment. I gathered the baby up in my arms. And I took her into the back bedroom and laid her on the bed. And I knelt down beside that bed and laid my hand on that suffering baby. And I wept and I wept and I wept. The door was closed and my wife heard me. And I asked the question, why me, God? And there was no audible voice. But there was a very clear voice that came to me. And the clear voice said this. Why not you? And I thought to myself, did I hear that right? Why not you? And that clear voice continued to speak to me and say to me something like this, this is going to change your life. Nothing else can do it like this can do. This will be an open sore for as long as she lives. And you will be reminded that God has given you a good mind. But now you have a child who does not have a mind. Well, God continued to speak. 
And some of you have said that I'm a little bit difficult to translate. That's true. <laughs> but this goes back to that moment some 50 years ago. Where God said, you are to teach people to think. And not let them do superficial thinking. And so therefore that has shaped my life. I read things that nobody else will read. And so as a result of that, I want you to think that is my ministry. That is the thing that God has called me to do. So I live life with an intentionality that has shaped me by that event some 50 years ago. Now, what's happened since? Uh, At three and a half years, she had to be taken out of our home. Because my wife's health was going down and caring for this child, and we did not have the medical facilities to care for her in her home. So the doctor declared a medical emergency in the state of Minnesota. And by the end of the week, she was placed into a home that had the medical facilities to take care of her. She's now 50 years old. She still cannot talk. She cannot walk. If she was dependent upon feeding herself, she would starve. She has a mentality of about a 16 to 18 month old child. But every time I go and see her, I don't know how to comfort her. The only thing I know is that she likes to have her back rubbed. As a back rubbed. And so when we put her in the wheelchair, I take my thumbs and rub her back. And I can sense the pleasure that it comes into her co-being. Now, if we learn to interpret our story in the light of God's story, God brings out unique ministries that are unique to us as part of our prophetic calling. That you begin to say, oh, this is so much of God. I could never have thought of this myself. But God, you have ordained it and brought it to pass. Now you've been talking, we've been talking about those questions. What are those questions that we ask? I refer to them the first night. So what are the questions of life on life? I talk to them to you about the fact that I sent these out ahead of time to all of my pastor leaders and I still use them in, in coaching and mentoring and spiritual direction. So the first question is, where are you? And we probe and we ask the question over and over again, where are you in your walk with God? I was sitting on an airplane from Boston to Denver. And the man dropped his college catalog over into my lap. And as I picked it up, I noticed that there were questions or there, there were circles that he put around courses on Near Eastern philosophy and Near Eastern Christian religion. So I asked him the where are you question. He said, I'm deeply interested in spirituality. 
啊，我咧好啊追求咧呢啲誒熟練嘅嘢。其實 I'm going out to San Jose to a philosophical conference。啊，我哋會去咧 San Jose 有一個嘅誒會議。And I'm trying to discover what God is and who God is。啊，我想明明白究竟神係邊一個，佢做緊啲咩嘢。I said, what do you do for a living？ 我話你究竟你誒做咩職業㗎？ He said, I'm a concert pianist. 啊，我係一個咧演奏家。I play with symphonies all over the world. 啊，我咧誒全世界去演奏。But he said that's not satisfying. 但係呢樣嘢咧唔能夠滿足我。There's something else that is going on in my soul that I cannot find. 啊，我靈魂裏邊咧有個嘅飢渴咧，呢樣嘢咧係我仲未滿足到。So where are you? Where are the people that you work with in your walk with God? 啊，究竟你而家喺邊一陣？你係點樣樣嘅咧 ？Second question. 第二個問題。Where are you aware of God shaking hand in your life? 你有冇睇到咧神嘅手究竟喺你嘅生命裏邊而家想熟做啲咩嘅？ Every day there are events that happen in our life that God is shaping us. 每一日，每一日發生嘅事，其實都係神咧所做嘅過程。And as a result of that, we just drift by them and we don't pay attention to them. 有時咧，我哋咧就啊行嚟行去，但係我哋唔好知道神嘅手原來喺我哋嘅身上。And if we learn to pay attention to them, we begin to see that shaping hand of God and how He is reshaping us, reforming us for His glory. 啊，當我哋有留意嘅時候，我哋發覺原來神嘅手不斷嘅嚟到想無做所做我哋。And then as a result of that, who are you? 第三個問題就係究竟你係邊個 ？What are you understanding about yourself and how God is beginning to reshape you and and you are understanding something about who you are？ 啊，你想明白咧？究竟咧你係邊一個 ？And then the fifth, fourth question is how do you organize your life？ 第四個咧就係咧你點樣每日咧嚟到啊啊生活咧 ？Well, how do we organize our life every day？ 啊，今日咧你嘅生活嘅裏邊咧究竟咧有冇啊？ You see, we begin to be aware that God is working this way. You only get on this and that and you me to the moon top. But we're organizing our life this way. How in the world are those the two going to get aligned so that we begin to understand that we have to do the shifting, God's not? Because God knows some things about us that we don't know ourselves. So what is your context? That's the fifth question. You are the third one. Every one of you come from a different context. I'm working with the boy in Kentucky. When I prepared for coming here, I knew that I had to know a little bit about your context. I thought only teaching or you can say how to get the idea. So I called people that knew you as a congregation. Ah, all these about you, that you want to get to know and ask questions about you. I only take all the money for the money. And they gave me glowing reports. Ah, for this, you look all ah ah ten. But the result of it was that I learned about you as a congregation in your context. 啊、uh, ，我哋就開始明白咧呢個會眾究竟係點樣樣。And the sixth question is， 第六個問題。What is your unique prophetic God calling？ 呢個咧神咧特別喺你生命裏面嘅呼召究竟係點樣樣 ？I believe that everybody in this room that names the name of Christ has a unique prophetic God calling， be that in the marketplace， or be that in call to ministry， or wherever it may be。啊，神咧其實咧俾我哋每一個人嘅生命裏面都有個特別嘅呼召，可能咧喺你嘅職場嘅裏面，可能咧喺。This is the new frontier that we have neglected for years and years and years in the marketplace. Ah, 但係咧，其實咧，呢個職場咧，我哋好多時候咧，我哋忽略咗。You bring your life of Christ, your transforming self, to the table of the marketplace. 你就要帶你呢個咧被神改造嘅生命進入你嘅職場嘅裏面。And spend eight to ten hours a day with non-Christian people. 你咧就要咧花咧八至十個小時咧同啲啊非基督徒嚟到做朋友。What is happening as a result of you being in that presence? Ah, when you are in the presence of God, what will happen? And in that context, this is your context. Now, I want to show you a video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video clip. Ah, I want to show you a short video So we're constantly going to the story behind the story. Ah, what is that? So then you have to find the story. We face our fears behind the fear. Ah, what is that? Hey, hunger in the middle. We begin to peel back the layers of resistance and hardness behind each stage that we carefully have built walls of protection around. Ah, what is that? So then, what is that? One step, one step, one step. This is the wall. This is the trap. Now here's the danger. Ah, this is the danger. Ah, this is the danger. We say, well, I want to go through all these stages in the next week. Ah, I hope you don't have to worry about the trap side this time. Too fast. Ah, too fast. You can't process it that fast. Ah, you can't process it that fast. You have to give time for this to happen. You need to give time for this to happen. The 
layers, the stages are uncovered and exposed by the gentle and compassionate Holy Spirit. Now there was one person that went through all of these stages. And he did it with perfection. And it was Jesus Christ. And he's the one that will guide you through as you begin to open your life up to him and face your fears and let him calm those fears and give you his presence. So listen to the story of Sam and Frodo of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> stories, Mr. Furl. The ones that really matter. Full of darkness and danger they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end. Because after the end you'd be happy. How would the world go back to the way it was when so much bad happened? But in the end, only a passing thing. The shadow. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines, it will shine out the clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you. That meant something. Even if you were too small to understand why. But I think, Mr. Fuller, I do understand. I know now. chances of turning back when they did. They kept going. Because they were holding on to something. What do we not belong to, Sam? There's some good in this world, Mr. begin to align ourselves with 
將你嘅生命